Uh, Ricky, just get your general thoughts on the ending of that. It was down to the wire. You guys showed a lot of heart to fight back into that contest. Showed, yeah, I'm glad you said that. Uh, he showed, well, I know they got the heart in them and the grit. Um, we didn't have to use so much juice in the first half. We win that match, but um, for the boys at half time, the still had that uh, energy in their eyes, and uh, I was, we were still very confident at half time that we'd um, finish the, finish off that next forty. How would you assess your defence uh, in the <coughs> half? You know, starting off poorly and improving. How would that, you um, that, <coughs> that that defence tonight, being game one of the year, um, we've had some. Great defensive uh, moments and great defensive games over over the years. Um, I know how much work defensive coaches put in, and you know tonight equals it. That was that was an unbelievable defensive effort. They scored one try without two on two on their kicks. It was a good try they scored on the left edge and scored two with kicks. It's you know in today's game the way the fullback has to defend. It's a 50-50, um, and they got the 50-50 tonight. Um, the way we fought back was a um, the boys have got a very proud coach. We've got a lot to work off. Elliot, how do you find that, that lift from you know your goal line defence in the first half transition, like transferring to you know points in, in the second and really putting the Capitals under pressure? Yeah, look, I think it just comes back to completing that. You know, <coughs> and there's discipline. I think the first half we were very poor in that, and it costed um, a lot of possession. You know, Cowboys had a lot of goal line attack, and you know, like Ricky said, I thought we defended it pretty well. They scored two off kicks, and you know, I'm proud of the boys as well. You know, we turned up in the second half, and we showed. When we do complete and stick to his game plan, what kind of team we will be this year? So, um, it's something to build on. You know, it's disappointing we did lose, but um, you know, we've, we've proved that we are a good team and uh, we can build on that. Be able to the, you be able to look at the uh, statistics with 15 minutes to go in the first half. There's not many football teams would be um, at 18 or with whatever it was to go three to four to go in the second half. Um, up here as well. Yeah. yeah, it especially up here, as Elliot's saying. You know, up here in this humidity and. The uncomfortable climate. I, I can't believe how, how well the boys prepared. Um, they've done a wonderful job getting here, but we didn't get the points, and that's the disappointing part. But uh, um, we've got something to work with here. A few troops missing as well, Ricky. How do you make of um, Sebastian Chris's go at fullback today? Well, it was always going to be hard when, as I say, I'm, I'm not going to rattle off the stats. You go and have a look at them with 15 to go. It's the amount of defence we had to do in that first half. Um, you know, he fullback can't be in two places at one. If you want him to defend that kick, he can't sit in the goal line and create another number and spacing on the edge. Um, so <clears throat> it depends what your strategy is. If you want your fullback sitting in behind the goal line when they're on a goal line attack, he might save those. Um, but um, our, our system isn't that way. And tonight, as I say, they got the 50-50 their way twice. Do you continue with him next week? Yep. Okay, you know, I'll, I'll continue with him for a... Uh, um, the first how many ever weeks until Xavier's back and ready to play again. He was part of the um, independent doctor from concussion protocol today, so it was, and I think it was Corey as well. Wayne Bennett came out today saying that the club should be in charge of, of that. And, well, you know, like well, the, R the RLPA, the, the NRL, they don't trust coaches, mate. Do you think I'd let a player play if he had a uh, concussion or he's concussed? Um, and I don't just trust the player's comments when he comes to the sideline in regards to that. But when he's down, getting his leg leg attended to, and I ask him, and his eyes, isn't, there was no fatigue and there was no pain in his eyes in regards to when he came off, he was very coherent. That, that didn't help us in that game. That's why I talk about toughness. And there was two of them. Yep, OK, Corey might have had the HIA. We had to serve, we had to serve two players there in very important positions for 30 minutes in that game. Um, but the RLPA, um, that, they don't... They don't trust coaches. All they do is want to come and talk to me about how much more time off the players are going to get and how much more money. I didn't hear any of those. I didn't hear anybody from the RPA come out and try and go to the NRL in regards to playing up here at 4:30 in the afternoon. We we're very lucky that it wasn't the humidity of what it was yesterday because I think it could have been dangerous for the players' welfare. So I take you agree with Wayne that you know maybe it could go back into the, the club's hands and you know there could be fines and penalties for the club if it's not properly enforced. I don't agree with him very often, but yeah, I do. Um, you got you got Wayne next week playing the Dolphins. Yeah, that's right. What do you what do you feel about that that match? Can I get over this one? Yeah. Thanks. <laughs>